Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is um, just a quick video just to show the journal um, that I had been working on and it's finished. And um, I am going to, it'll be in my Etsy shop and I will have my Etsy shop linked below. Um, also, yeah, so my Etsy is up and I still have some more stuff to add to it, some supplies and stuff. It's been kind of slow. I I have gotten a full-time job now and it's a little more than full-time so um, videos won't be coming as often. I was hoping to keep up with two days a week but right now probably one unless we do these these short ones here. Um, so anyway this is the journal that I have done a couple of videos on that, um, um, that I was working on and it's all finished so I just kind of want to go through and just show you the journal and the different elements in it. So it's tied with this beautiful bow um, and then the front cover that I turned into a pocket and in that pocket this is I'm gonna call it a journaling bookmark. I actually made this with the Dear Julie Julie May Mayhem challenge um, for my journal which is sent up to Lindsay's shop, Nevermore Creations, um, along with a few other journals to be sold. Um, I took some of the elements out because it was so thick. There was so much in it. So I thought certain elements I could use in other journals and I thought this went well. And this is made from recycled packaging. So this card here was actually whatever was in this package. Um, this is the card that it was on and then just use some pretty paper. I think this background was from Nevermore Creations. It has a um, crocheted flower that I made and some sticker elements and then on the back you can write at it. And so this is the packaging that came in. It just has a sticky and you can pull it out right on it and put it back in. And then tied with some ribbon. And then I cut, I um, had some scrap cardstock so I cut them up and behind it is some little net type thing behind the flowers. I cut them up and, well, first I stamped uh, purple script on it and then I just punched out the different flower shapes and the butterflies and I added these pretty little sticky gems on there. And then the inside cover, here is that pocket, that lace that shows uh, the people, dog, bird, trees. And in the pocket, this is from Crochet, something Crochet, um, I can't remember, but Crochet's in the name. So this is one of their um, digital ephemera pieces tags and I just backed it with some um, coffee dyed. And then this card here was actually, um, when I was going through some of my stuff, when I was moving, I discovered these. Um, I used to do, I used to do scrapbooking a lot, and um, this is some of the stuff left over from Creative Memories. It was a birthday thing, so I just covered it with this pretty paper, added a little phrase, "Blessed are the peacemakers," and then another one, uh, crochet. Um, the lady who made these um, butterfly cutouts with this beautiful flower, and then it's got a cloud background. You can you can write on the back. Also, the other thing is, I didn't put anything in here, but this lace is also a pocket. So you could actually put stuff in here as well. But I left it out so that you could see the image on the lace. Put those back in there. And my thought on this was uh, inspirational journal for like Bible study. I mean, it can be anything but for Bible study or just when you're reading your Bible and you have something, maybe a prayer book or a journal about your walk, that kind of stuff. This was taken from a Thomas Kincaid book. Um, it's a copy dyed line paper. All of these pages are, uh, all of these digitals are from Lindsay's Nevermore Creations. I don't remember the name of the kit. Um, I've had this kit pack and I've had it with this cover that I made. The cover is cloth um, on the inside and the outside and in the middle is cardstock to give it some firmness. But I had this butterfly kit and it's super simple but I had this in there that I wanted to make with this journal. So it says love deeply. And then I have one of these pockets um, here. 
that I made. I don't remember who I saw make it, but I thought they were great, so I made a bunch of them. And then in it I have, in all things give thanks, and the word patience. And this is a napkin covered tag with a little bit of lace. And then um, just a project life card that I've backed for journaling. And then this is some copy dyed. Um, I saw a Tsunami Rose do this with some fabric covered uh, index cards. And I thought, well, I'm going to copy dye and use some of my scraps just to add a touch. Just a simple little touch. Um, oops, I actually, I think I had this in here. Maybe. Nope. I got it in there. Okay. There, this, and then another um, project life card, and you can journal on the back. And then this is from um, Graphic 45, so another card there from Graphic 35. And then I wanted something here, but I um, so I came up with this. This is from. Love Junk Journals, Tracy Fox, and I just backed this little piece with a, to make it a little bit stiffer, and this is actually a flip. And this was me experimenting with shrinking down a digital, and it made it really small, and so I just turned it into just a little, a little flip. And that digital is also from Nevermore Creations. And then, of course, we've got some, some lace and ruffle pages on some coffee dyed paper that came from uh, Emily. Here is another pocket, and I think this is from the paper output post pocket, yes. And then just a, a playing card. It, it, it looks like it might be a little bit vintage, but I'm not sure. And then some handmade tags that you probably saw in the video that I made in the video um, that I uh, collaged. So those go in here. And I didn't chalk it full. I left room for... Uh, you can put some more of your stuff and then a large tag with John 316 on it and this is another one of my crocheted um, flowers and I glued a bee on there bead on there it's on there pretty good I used some I also do jewelry so I used um, jewelry really strong glue this is a flower tag topper or a, a tab from G Kerr and then Tim Holtz people and then start something new butterfly page and then on uh, the whites I just stamped these stamps are from May May I believe and then this is I got these stitch stamps from Linda Israel so I just stamped it just to add some interest it's more coffee dyed paper with a ruffle and another page from that with some more lace and then this is just a simple pocket. I had already made it, made it, so I thought it would work perfectly. It was in my in my container. This, I got this really beautiful paper pack, and I just don't want to do anything to it. I added a ruffle tab, but that's all I wanted to do. It's just it's simple and it's just beautiful, and I thought that's perfect. This is an embossed card. Uh, I have a video where I embossed had a bunch of embossed cards that I just played with my ink pads on to give it some color and then I backed it with some cardstock that you can journal on. Uh, I don't remember what this is out of but it's a book page. Some more coffee dyed paper with a ruffle. Uh, make magical memories. This piece right here, this pocket and tag, I ordered some ephemera from a shop and I, I don't remember the name of it. So these are not my creations, but I thought they would look really nice in here. And then this is another um, sort of like a Project Life card, but they aren't that brand. Um, just like before you speak, listen, before you write, think, before you spend, earn, and so on. William Arthur Ward. And then I just backed it with some coffee dyed paper for some journaling and then some more stamping. Coffee dyed line paper. This is, I also have a video in my folder called 
what can you do with that? And this is um, like bias tape type stuff and I did snippets on it. So I turned it into a belly band this way and um, just put in one of these um, pieces of ephemera from G. Kerr um, and I painted the back with the stains by Patty Pockets and put that in there as a journal card and then of course stamped around here. Another coffee dyed paper with a ruffle. Um, Inspire Others butterfly page. This is a um, Edith Holden page. And this I made a probably a year ago. I forgot I had them. I had them stashed away. But this is a hidden tuck spot. And I don't remember the video I learned it from. But you have... Um, and then I just seen a recent... Um, from scrapbook with me version sort of of this using an envelope so that's pretty cool but this is a six by six page folded in thirds um, and then stitched on the bottom you stitch the top first then you stitch the bottom closed after you've glued this in but I have in here just a piece of coffee dyed paper that you can write on so it's a secret journaling spot and I do need to do some mass makes on my secret journaling tuck spots. Okay. So here, and then this um, is another one of those embossed cards. And I put the Edith Holden in the center. But this is one of those, another one of those embossed cards, Admit One. And I just have it stuck in that paper clip there. This is another, um, I think these are from... Um, uh, the Rambling Crafter, Shell and Clint, um, they did a video making these really cute paper clips. I don't have a lot of ultra paper kit clips, so I thought that'd be fun. And I just kind of thought this went well with the theme of the journal and the color, spread your love everywhere you go. So, and that's holding on um, this envelope, which, and this journal tag that I got from a flower book. And inside this envelope is another journaling card that I got out of a flower book. And then the front of the envelope, and then that just goes on here. And this clips to hold this on. And you could also probably tuck something under here. Stamped on the white pages here, and envelope, or I mean, Lindsay's. This is another pocket. This is a Patricia or Patty, uh, Patricia Veramontes pocket. So I have that decorated. And then I have these cards um, from Proverbs or saying cards different from the Bible. And this one says love covers all wrongs and it's meant to be a coloring. So, you, you know, in the mood, I like to color now and then. So I thought that'd be kind of fun in there. And this is another one of some really pretty um, paper that I just didn't feel like needed anything else, so I just added a tab topper to that. Another ruffle on the coffee paper, some more stamping. This is one of those envelope flips. So this is a collaged card that I made and backed. Um, it's just collage. There's no, that butterfly is part of the collage, and I again thought it was pretty. Sometimes simple is best, and this is pretty the way it is so I didn't want to do anything else to it and then this is a piece from G. Kerr and then you just flip it and you have some more journaling space in there okay more copy paper and some more pockets this is one of those Tim Holtz pockets that I just glued to a collaged card as honest and inspire, I um, stickled the butterfly. Um, I have my tag. This is, I did some um, gesso with my finger just kind of over it, just to kind of bring it down a little bit. But this is a piece of scrapbook paper. I don't remember what paper pack. I, it was a couple years ago that I had this paper pack. And then attached, I believe this is, this is either Tracy Fox or Mrs. Cog's image. And then this butterfly is from, um, I think, my porch prints, tabbed with fabric and lace on the bottom, and then backed for writing. And this is actually coffee dyed parchment paper. I thought that'd be kind of fun to play with and just add another texture. 
So inside this pocket is a whole bunch of little, my thought on this was they might be great for just quick little memory verses or, or anything like that. And all of these are from, um, I have the name in my book. This is from Rachel Sarah Crafts. Yes, Rachel Sarah Crafts. They have this huge pack with all of these different pieces of ephemera. So I just found some different ones that were kind of fun and threw those in there. And then these two um, are from my porch prints when I made my mom her gift journal, prayer journal to give. And there I had some pieces left over. So I thought these went well and just with some rope type stuff and then this was another one of those with the envelope from the same from my porch prints and um, altered paper clip to hold it closed and then inside this is a playing card that I altered that you can journal on the back okay I find that these pockets are easier to enter stuff in when you start from the bottom that there. So this is just a stuffed little pocket full of little pieces. And these are, these aren't copy copy paper. I think they're either 28 or 32 pound papers, but they're not cardstock. Whoops, put this one there. And then that. This. Okay, and then we'll stick this back there. So we got all kinds of fun stuff to play with in there. The back of that book page that we, uh, the other side, some more stamping, and then take time to smile, coffee dyed paper. I don't remember who I saw for this, but I made a whole bunch of these pockets, and I thought this went well with the shade, and um, I, I like it, so I turned the back into a tuck spot. Another collage card I did uh, with a butterfly from, this is Nevermore Creations, G. Kerr, uh, My Porch Prints. This is probably My Porch Prints too. And then stickled some of it. I have some fabric on the bottom and lace for the top tag. And then this is another Graphic 45. It says, Wherever Life Plants You Bloom With Grace. So there's that. Inhale, exhale, some more coffee dyed paper with this beautiful lace. Now this pocket here is, uh, I made a while ago and it's from a, a book page. And I have this long tag in it. Um, I really liked it the way it was, but I felt like it just needed a little bit more. So I added a piece of fabric with another um, image. Top the, top the tag with fabric, and then I found some of my um, dangles that I made. So I added one to that. Just goes in the top there. And then this is another one of those cards that I saw Tsunami Rose use. She used fabric, but I used some scrap paper on that. Um, a Project Life card. <clears throat> Just a piece of ephemera from a um, scrapbook paper pad that I had, and these are from Crochet, a cro the Crochet Shop <laughs> for digital images. It's coming to me. Hopefully I'll have it by the time I'm done with this book. There you go. And then some pretty lace on the bottom. And then um, another back of the page, coffee dyed paper, and then Thomas Kincaid book, and some some quotes. Another pocket on the back, similar to the front, only this is the other part of the lace, which this could be a house. It looks like a church to me, so then it has the trees. And that also is a pocket, so you could stick something in there. But I wanted that image to show, so I left it empty. This is a piece of... Um, this is the piece from the Graphic 45 pad, so I recycled the packaging. And I turned that into a tag and then stamped with that pretty stamp I got from Linda Israel. 
um, I don't remember the name of it, Beeline Designs, I think it is. And this is another one of those tags that I just love the collage paper. I collaged up here and then put this whole sheet right here. I just love the way it was. But I did add one of my labels I saw someone make, and I'll show them to you. I have a bunch right here. I took a bunch of scraps and just used some of that purse stuffing to make these, these labels. So I put a label on there and then put a little phrase on there, topped it, tapped it with um, fabric, and a lot of these tags are sewn all the way around. And that is the journal. So if you uh, love the journal, it'll be in my shop. And um, thank you for joining me and going through the journal with me today. And I will see you in the next video.